up, everyone? I'm Alan Thrall here at Untamed Strength Gym in Sacramento, California, already covered in tacky. We haven't even started. So I've been working with the guys at Abmat to create a new product for the advancement of Atlas Stone over bar setup. Uh, a thing of the future, really. Traditionally, you got an Atlas Stone, a bar that you're going to load it over, and a crash pad. Looks something like this. That works fine, but I'd say it's the old way of doing things. What I have to do now is limbo under this thing and roll it back into position. And so what myself and the guys from Abmat have done is create a product that will automatically return the stone back to the starting position. Now, ideally, you'd have a training partner on the other side. They follow the stone down and roll the stone back to you. That's how it's done in competition as well. But uh, last time I checked, Abmat does not have training partners for sale on their website. So we've come up with the next best thing. The Atlas Stone Return Pad. When used correctly, the stone will land on the crash pad and roll right back in the starting position. Allow me to demonstrate. These aren't fake stones. I'm switching out for heavier stones uh, just to give you guys a real review. I use the 155, the 200, going up to the 240 pound stone. 240 pound stone for breakfast. So during this whole creation process, we had to get the slope, the angle of the slope just right too sloped and it's going to shoot right back into your legs and roll back too fast, not give the lifter any time to react. Uh, too flat and it's just going to land and get stuck. So this angle is perfect enough that if you hit, I would say just beyond midpoint, it'll hit nicely and roll all the way back. Uh, we also were playing around with the width of the crash pad. I want it to be wide enough that you had a good landing target, a good landing zone, uh, but not so narrow that it can't fit within uh, a confined space or within a yoke. This is a, a, a very long yoke with a specialized crossbar, but a typical yoke might be as narrow as a squat rack. Um, way back in the day, I used to load stones in a squat rack. And so this could fit right inside of a, a normal squat rack. So the width, the depth, as well as the angle. One other thing that was added on was this, uh, this bumper on the end that can be uh, taken off if needed with the Velcro. But the bumper was nice just to ensure that it doesn't you know, get sent over the other end. Check this out. I am an inventor. Gym owner, strongman, inventor. Dad. That's my resume. Let's try a big one. Let's go for it. Do it for the review. It's a 305 pound stone. Hopefully I didn't bite off more than I can chew. So we've done the 155 stone, the 200 stone, the 240 stone, the 305 stone. It works with pretty much every stone. So a couple things to consider. When you're setting up for this, you want to find the right spot that the pad should be in relation to the yoke. You don't want it too close because then it's potentially going to head off the back end. And you don't want it so far away that you're going to hit the bottom of the slope um, and the, the rollback feature doesn't really work. So you got to play around with it just based on how big your stone is uh, and how far you kind of let go of the stone or where the landing part of your stone load is. So if you are ever in charge of a class or a group or you're bringing this into your training partners to show them how to use it, a couple things to consider. Uh, the first one, it's not really a con to the pad, it's more of user error, but sometimes people like to really launch the stone off their chest and it just gets sent way too far. 
Uh, that, would, that could be a problem with this mat, unless there's a training partner on the other end. Some people like to do what I call the slam dunk, where they'll go up and over in the hole on the stone for too long and try to send it straight back down, in which case it's gonna hit the end of the pad. Uh, so make sure that the, the user, if it's not you, uh, if you're teaching a class, understands how to let go of a stone so that it ensures it hits in the middle or I prefer a little above the middle of the, the crash pad. And to be fully transparent, this thing is not bulletproof. Bad things can still happen. I would not suggest setting this thing against a window or putting it right up against a sliding or just a glass door. Um, I would ensure that it's up against either a brick wall or just a solid structure. Or if you did have a training partner, they were on the other end, just to make sure that if the stone you know, starts rolling off the back end or if you launch the stone too far, they can prevent it from rolling across the gym. I'll include a link to this beauty so you can have your own down in the description right below. Thanks for watching and always remember, Trend on Time!